Yeah, Lowe's is over here. Okay. Yeah. 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 Let's see. All right. Well, this is uh, this is actually the third time I've presented at TC New Tech, uh, but and the first time I've actually presented anything about our company. So, um, uh, just a brief overview. RJG is a uh, we're about 130 employees now, headquartered in Traverse City. We've got uh, offices in eight countries worldwide. Uh, we work exclusively with the injection molding industry. These are companies who mold plastic parts. And uh, I see Fred Sorensen uh, sitting in the front, and we got, uh, where, where's, where's, where's Mark? Uh, Mark Stevens, so some uh, injection molders uh, here in the audience. And, uh, but what we do is we help injection molders to improve quality and reduce costs through uh, training and technology. I'm going to talk a little bit about the technology side of that. Uh, this is, uh, now I've got to find the mouse. Here we go. Oops, there it is. All right. Uh, for th those of you who are uh, new to the injection molding process, basically we've got molten plastic here and a mold cavity with two halves, and we're going to watch that uh, as the plastic squirts into the mold cavity and it freezes, and then these pins here are going to pop that out. And we're going to look at this area right behind the pin is where we put a sensor. So we, uh, the mold, here's another representation of the mold cavity where the part is made, pushing on the ejector pin, and this is a half-inch button-style load cell that measures the pressure of the cavity. Uh, the, the plastic inside the cavity. So what can we see with that pressure? Um, let's, uh, this is going to be a representation. Notice on the bottom, this is uh, the plastic filling the mold. We've got a green sensor, a blue sensor. There's our green sensor pressurizing. Watch when the plastic hits the end of the cavity and pressurizes. It leaves a signature. This is like EKG for molding. And if you match that pressure signature each time, you get the same part. Uh, so there's, there's a number of processing related defects. This is, this is the cardinal sin of injection molding, is sending a short shot, an unfilled part, to your customer. Uh, imagine if you, you, your iPhone case had a little piece missing from the corner. Uh, that's, a, that's a serious problem uh, and costs molders thousands, thousands and thousands of dollars every year just, just to uh, resolve these problems. So let's look at what a short shot looks like from inside the cavity. Uh, notice that the, our sensor here at this last point of fill, if no plastic ends up there, the pressure there, what's it gonna read? Zero. And notice we've got basically a flat line here. Uh, and, uh, and so that's very easy for us to detect with a, a computerized monitoring system. Uh, detects that pressure outside of an alarm range and sends a signal to a part diverter or a robot to put that uh, part into a different bin. So, uh, and so we can automate the inspection process and ensure better quality at lower cost. But the problem is that installing sensors in a mold is hard. There's lots of precision machining, as we're getting to uh, molds with lots and lots of ca cavities. Uh, the, the complexity of installation uh, and the cost of installation gets prohibitive. So a long time ago, one of our engineers had this concept uh, borrowed from the seismic uh, world where you're exploring for oil and gas. You've got a vibration source that's sending a signal uh, sound into the earth and it's reflecting off of features and uh, that sound is being detected by a number of uh, microphones or receivers, and from that, able to create a 3D image of what's underneath the Earth's surface. And we always thought, okay, that'd be cool if we could detect that inside the mold, reflect off of the plastic, and see the see the mold front in the it moving in the plastic. But it's too slow. But recently, we found an application where this is called an acoustic camera, where they actually do this. Here's the sound sources: our airplane. Uh, and a, an array of sensors detecting the sound and projecting in real time various frequencies of sound from the plane. So we know that these acoustic techniques, the processing speed is getting fast enough where we could conceivably put a transmitter on the side of the mold, 
a series of receivers, and the concept is to, in real time, monitor, oops, uh, sorry, uh, we're almost done here. Create a 3D image of the part filling. And so instead of putting multiple sensors in the mold, put one sensor array on the mold and be able to see in real time the, the filling process. So the problem is that, one, we're limited on software development for resources. If uh, there are any software developers in the room looking for uh, an occupation, we've got, uh, we've got openings. Uh, we, we, we're not acoustics experts. We know people who are. We know those people exist. Uh, we can provide the, the molding expertise. We need somebody with data acquisition and software background who can bridge that gap. We'd love to contract this out as a project to somebody to uh, help and develop this technology and, and figure out how to interface it to our, to our, to our system. So with that, questions? Has anybody got a solution for his problem? <laughs> that's, that's the real question. So this is something new you're doing, Mike, compared to what you've done in the past with sensors? This would be a fundamentally new technology. So to now, today we have to put sensors inside the right. mold. Right. And this would be fundamental that this nobody's doing this today. Mm -hmm. And so this would be a this would be the type of technology that could, could revolutionize our industry and what easier we easier to apply. Easier to apply and you get much right now, you've got to read these curves. And so whereas if you could create a visualization of the, the filling of the mold, it's something that that is much easier for the average user to interpret. I probably should have mentioned at the beginning, one of the kind of challenges we made to these guys was to kind of come here with a problem that you think that the tech people in this room might be able to solve. So that's why the first guys mentioned it, that's why these guys, you know, why yeah. Mike's mentioning it. Um, he's got a problem that he thinks, you know, somebody knows how to solve this thing. And so um, that's kind of the whole concept behind TC New Tech is to get people in the room, they talk about some issues you're having, and more than likely somebody knows somebody who knows somebody who can fix it. So. Yeah. Sure. Casey. Well, I, I've heard rumors here and there that uh, you know, the technology that you use now uh, is, is right for applying to uh, the world of exclusion that some companies are working at. Is that something that your company might do to create a lot of jobs and that sort of thing in this area? Yeah, that's, that's great. And I, I'm glad you mentioned that, Casey, because I was torn between this presentation and uh, another presentation. Uh, the other concept that we're looking for, that we've explored for years is applying this technology to what's called extrusion. So injection molding molded parts, it's a cyclical process, uh, whereas extrusion, anything like a gutter or a tube that has a continuous profile, it comes out, it's a continuous process. And we've had requests from customers and we've done some trial in installations with an extrusion type process and we've, we know we've got Century Extrusion here in town, who uh, has a lot of experience in that area. And uh, that's another, it's, it's injection molding is a different technology from extrusion, so it's been outside of our wheelhouse. But if there was someone young and entrepreneurial and, and uh, wanted to uh, start, start off a neat little niche business, um, that it, it would be a really cool opportunity. It's, uh, there, there's no one doing it at, at the time, and uh, we, we've had, we have requests from customers. We've just got our all, we've got all all that we can do to, to service the injection molding industry. So, anyone who's interested in uh, process monitoring for extrusion, uh, uh, <laughs> see me afterwards. <laughs> Any other questions? All right, thanks. All right, thank you.